right, so I'm home now. I have to say that Pilates class was really amazing. I've actually never tried Pilates before, or at least not the one where you have, you know, the reformer machine. So this was really something else and it was very difficult to follow. Also because I know that I go to the gym pretty regularly, but I feel like I don't do as much of a hard training as I could be doing if I were to follow a class. So yeah, the, the class was really amazing, but I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with it just because Pilates classes are really expensive and I'm kind of debating with myself what I feel like my well-being and you know my physical health, what I feel like I should spend on that. Because I do think that if I were to do these classes like on a regular basis that it would really affect my health and my well-being in a very positive way just because I feel amazing afterwards. Like right now I feel super motivated not just because I've just done the class but also to do more and not even necessarily more of like fitness related stuff but also other self-improvement areas. I feel really motivated to just keep working on myself I guess so if that is the effect that such a workout class has on me I feel like maybe it would be worth investing in. Also another thing that I recently tried out is kickboxing. Oh and by the way these classes that I'm taking they're all women only and they're also like in a space where you can just take off your hijab so that you can comfortably work out which was really like a plus for me. So I recently also took a kickboxing class and and that also made me feel so good about myself because even though you feel kind of like dying just because it's so difficult so hard for your body on the other hand you kind of see your own potential you sort of start falling in love with it as well i think i'm definitely going to continue the kickboxing also because it's more like affordable compared to the pilates classes so i've actually I, i'm not sure if i've told this already I've cancelled my gym subscription so I still have like a month or so to go. I'm going to quit the gym because I want to focus on like these classes and doing workouts at home. A lot of the exercises that I wanted to do were exercises that I didn't feel comfortable doing in public and at some point I realized okay I'm kind of doing a half workout every time I go to the gym just because other half I would rather do in private or at least surrounded by women only. And this made me think if I'm doing half a workout every time i go to the gym it's kind of a waste so i decided i would just quit the gym and do workout classes instead so i've been trying out the pilates and the kickboxing with the class pass app and i'll link it down below because it has this one month free trial so the classes that i have been taking were kind of for free these past few days which really helps me think about whether i want to continue with it or not and this is by the way not sponsored it's just that i feel like it's very beneficial to be able to try out a class for free and see whether it fits you before really going ahead and start a subscription without knowing that much so right now i'm just going to drink my coffee and then i'm going to make lunch i'm going to meal prep my lunch i'll be making wraps that i'm gonna store in the freezer and then every time i'm hungry in the upcoming days i can just put them in the air fryer or in the oven so yeah that's what i'm going to do Alright, so I bought new clothes and I thought it would be nice to show them in like a little bit of a haul and I got my clothing rack out just to make it a little bit more aesthetic but yeah, I have a few pieces that I bought and I think they're specifically nice for fall just because they have these earthy toned colors Let me know what you think, I'll bring them out now Ooh. 
Let's start with this two-piece set. I got this one at the market, so unfortunately I don't have like a website link for it. But if I do have a link for an outfit that I bought, then I'll make sure to leave them down below. So this is the very first outfit. I think it's very cute. You have this to tie it together, so you can either do like a tied one and make a ribbon in the back. Lately I've been loving blouses or shirts that have like these little slits in here but in a way where it kind of goes over your hand. I feel like lately the trend has really been to have shirts that look like this. Although it is a trend right now, I think that this is really something that I would consider to be part of my capsule wardrobe. So pretty much the clothing that you would wear for the rest of time, clothing pieces that are really part of your style. I feel like these sets that kind of resemble the kimonos, I think that is really part of my style. I would definitely consider these types of shirts as part of my my capsule wardrobe just because I think I will love it for eternity <laughs> so yeah so this is the first outfit I'll try on the second outfit which is also a matching set and also has the kimono look to it so again this outfit really resembles a kimono and I think it's super beautiful you may recognize this one because I already have it in black and when I bought it in black, I thought not to immediately buy it in all the other colors as well because I thought, you know, trends change over time and maybe I won't like it as much as I think I will. So I decided to be very like mindful about not shopping too much at the same time. But now it's been, I think, three months or so and I decided I actually absolutely love it. So I also bought it in this beige taupe kind of color. And the nice thing about this one is, of course, that these skirts and shirts i can mix and match uh, with these other shirts as well just because they're all very neutral colors so i think it will be very nice to style this for example with the skirt that i'm currently wearing so this is the very first blouse or shirt and again has very loose and long sleeves and it has these adorable little ribbons here i think it really makes it very cute so right now i'm wearing it with a white hijab but i think i'll match it with a hijab that really fits this color a little bit more i feel like this shirt is really in trend right now but again i look at it and i think i would love to wear it forever so that's kind of the mindset that i'm bringing with me whenever i go to shop so yeah this is the very first blouse and now i'll try on this one which is kind of more green khaki this used to be my favorite color when i was 16 or so and i looked at it and i thought okay well maybe i should bring that obsession with this type of green back again because it looks beautiful as well all right so here is the same blouse in a different color i absolutely love it yeah no other words for it so these are the clothes that i recently bought and i feel like they're very in the theme of fall just because of the earthy colors but i definitely am not someone who just lives by the season i think this will look beautiful all throughout the year i also got this skirt it's kind of like the skirt that you use to pray in it was just five euros so i just had to get it and this probably looks good together as well. So I recently asked on Instagram what you all would like to see more of. A few people said, um, you know, modest fashion. So that's kind of what I've been showing today. And I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments which outfit you like the most. Or, you know, which color of this blouse you like the most. I'll make sure to link everything that I got in the description box. But some of these things are from the market. So they don't really have a link. Tonight I'm going out for dinner. So I'm trying to decide between which color blouse fits best for the occasion i obviously still need to iron it but i'm not really the biggest fan of ironing so i won't iron both just the one that i'm going to wear so all right so i'm about to head to dinner but first let me share what's in my bag it's really not that interesting i have my umbrella because it has been raining a lot lately and i have my wallet which is pretty much with me all the time just because it has my license and my identification and all of that finally i have my camera with me currently it's in this um <laughs> It looks a little bit weird. It's meant to be a duck, but I made this like years ago and now I kind of broke my camera. But that's also my fault because I never really protect my camera with anything. It's, I just throw it into my bag. But now I have this little case on top of it to protect it, even though it's already kind of too late. But yeah. <laughs> Oh, we don't 
So I'm about to head out. I'm going on a little bit of a spa day with my mother-in-law. So I have my gym bag ready with like towels, slippers, all of the good stuff. And I'm wearing very comfortable sets. So yeah, I'm ready for a very chill day. I'm very excited about going to the spa again. It's been a very long time actually. I think the last time I went to a spa was when I was in Turkey, which was about two years ago or something. First we're gonna get lunch and then the whole spa day thing. All right, let's go. Thank you. 